So how's the roof going? Fine, but it would be better if you helped. How come I'm doing this anyway? Wasn't Tubi the person who broke this roof? To be fair, you were the only person who lost a challenge for your team last episode. That was all Stein's fault! Let's get back to work, Neck Pillow. We're making good progress. <laughs> Jeans, you dimwit. A lightweight pair of pants like you wouldn't even be able to break through flimsy boards. Get back up here and quit being physically impossible. Guys, we gotta talk about Melee's Alliance. It's incredibly overpowered. One of us is gonna be out next if they all vote together again. Well, you've got a point there, Mallet. Mallet's just on edge because he's their next target. Wow, glad I have such supportive friends. Take it easy, Mallet. It's just a joke. Have you ever considered that there might be a reason you're targeted and, like, disliked? Uh, okay, maybe I've made a lot of enemies on the show, but that's just because they can't handle how hardcore I am. But the point of this wasn't my morality or whatever. The point of this was that we could help each other stay in the game. Our team is falling apart. Ornamenti, is it too late to join your team? Yes, it is! <laughs> So what's the 8th contest? Actually, if you consider the Team Captain Dodgeball Challenge, this would be the ninth contest. Okay, so what's the ninth contest? Glad you asked, Neck Pillow. But first, we need to make an announcement. Today, we are unveiling the new Observatory-themed confessional booth. Reveal your deepest, darkest secrets to the audience in here. I know the audience doesn't know a whole lot about me, which is why I'm here to tell them my entire life story. It all started... Come on, I gotta see what the planet looks like. What the? This telescope costs a quarter to use? Mom, I'm still angry you took away my clay station. Glad you guys enjoy the confessional booth, but it's time to start the challenge. Each team will be placed onto two boats, and you will throw items at each other to knock each other off. Whichever team loses all their members first will be put up for elimination. Go. Oh right, I do recall Comic saying something about having magical hosting powers. Tubi, can you look through your exotic hat collection? Uh, okay. Hmm. Uh huh, here it is. A human skull and crossbones? How does that work in the context of our universe? It absolutely does not work. Gimme that. Yeah, today I'm the captain. Hey, you can't be team captain, you're too irresponsible. Hey, do you want me to make you walk the plank? Alright team captain, what's our winning strategy this time? Nothing too fancy, we can throw and you two leg onlyers can make repairs to the ship. Oh, and Hot Pepper, I have a special job for you. You can operate this cannon because you're the strongest. Ooh, a handheld cannon that's operated by a big red button? How convenient. Tubi! Oh, I'll never forgive you little rascals for this one. Yeah. Are you okay, Clock Towery? Jeez, look out! Guys, quickly, come help me! Should we pull him up? I mean, he is neck pillow. Alright guys, we have to work extra hard, because we have a smaller team. Take this! Mallet! That was our chest, now we don't have any items! I guess it's hopeless then. Darn. That's fine, we still have the cannon. Yeah, and if that doesn't work, we can throw Nuki at the other team. That sounds kinda painful. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? But this will kill me. Oh, Hot Pepper, you know what to do. Uh, yay, we're losing! If they have a cannon, wouldn't we also have a cannon? I can't find a cannon, but I can find this ticking time bomb! <laughs> Quickly throw it! They're throwing an explosive at us! Well, we could fight fire with fire. I never agreed to live. Ah, we've landed on your ship! Now we can take you guys to- 
Jeez, this cannon does seem a bit overpowered. It's on them for not throwing their time bomb earlier. Ornamenti, you're our last hope. Please don't lose this for us. The sooner my team is up for elimination, the sooner I can get eliminated and not have to deal with this awful show. <laughs> nice job, Team Comic is the best host ever. You guys won this challenge, which means that Team M will be put up for elimination. I'm voting for Ornamenti, but she wants to be eliminated, so would that be like punishing her or rewarding her? I don't know. I should never have let Neck Pillow be the team captain for this episode. I'm voting for him. I'm voting for myself. You've all cast your vote, but here at the elimination ceremony, we'll see who got the most, and that person will be eliminated. Any questions? Yeah, do we get prizes this time? We ran out of prizes. Your prize for this episode is knowing that you're safe for another day. Jeans, Invisibly, Tubi, Sign, and Clock Tower don't have any votes. I was hoping for the voting to be more balanced, but the only two contestants who got any votes were Ornamenti and Neckpillow. Neckpillow, you're reckless and immature, and plus you think you're better than everybody else. Ornamenti, all of your friends voted for you because you want to be eliminated. The sooner I get eliminated, the sooner I can file a lawsuit. Y you can't file a lawsuit while you're trapped in the ROFL, Ornamenti. And the 8th person eliminated from Fight for the Planet is... Ornamenti. She got eliminated with 4 votes, and Neckpillow only got 2. I don't think those results add up, though. Octauri couldn't vote because a wrench got caught in her gears and she couldn't move. Oh, okay. Did we lose? Yeah. Did I get eliminated? No, Ornamenti did. I'm sorry for voting for you, Ornamenti. I'll make sure to avenge you by winning the game. How freaking sweet. I'm gonna miss her. There, there. I wasn't that close to Ornamenti, but I gotta respect her for sticking up to comic like that. I hope she wins the lawsuit. I'll be there to watch. Man, I sure got lucky this episode. Thank goodness neither of us got eliminated this time, Jeans. How did your black eye and broken tooth go away? Comic, I didn't get any lines this episode. Can I end the episode this time? No.